This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their owns. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. Come on down, I need raw view, come down, I need raw view, where you can get your yee-haw, your ketchup, and your mustard, and your cool, and a cow, and a hillbilly, come on down, I need raw view, come on down, 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 Hey y'all, it's me, Pierre, aka Nina Bonina Bonana 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 Country Brown. We are back for another raw view. This is another music raw view. This is going to be a raw view for Beyonce's Country Carter album. You know, I'm not a huge Beyonce fan. Look, no, I like Beyonce. I love Beyonce, but I'm not like y'all crazy B people. Get away. Get, get away. Get, get away. So this will be an honest review. If I don't like some songs, I just won't like it. I am not kissing nobody's butt because of who they are. Okay? And trust me, I appreciate a girl like Beyonce. I do. But welcome back, guys. Y'all know how we do it here. Come here, keep it cute, keep it mute in the comment section, okay? And by keep it mute, I mean don't come here sharing your nonsense and your ignorance. Just come here and have fun, have a good time, and you will not get blocked and chopped immediately. If you decide that you like this video, please make sure to like the video. Also, subscribe if you're new. And if you like the video so much you want a tip, please do. All the information is down below in the description box. Thank you in advance. But yeah, I'm late doing this because I was taking my locks out. It was a journey from hell. Like, it took me three days to comb my locks out. Comb out my toilets. Like, I could have cut them off, but I wanted to keep some length. So, it took me three days. My arms are sore. My back is sore. My neck is sore. I'm secretly sleepy. I'm restless. But I say I, I am late doing raw views. I haven't even done UK versus the world yet. I don't know who won. I haven't even done season 16 yet. I am behind. Behind. So we're going to do this though. We're going to do this. And as far as Beyonce, yeah, she, you know, this is what, hey, I'm going to say this. I don't like how so many people now, black people, are all of a sudden country stars. Y'all are into the country girls now all of a sudden. I really wish people could just think for themselves. Like, it's nice that she's bringing more attention there, but there's already been black country artists over there. There's already been a few of them. There's already, you know, K. Michelle. Like, I'm saying, like, she's been. I'm quite sure these girls in their in their heads are like, really, it's always Beyonce. But they have to be like, oh, I'm so glad she's doing it. She's bringing attention to us. You know, like like, like, a, like a girl like me, or I've been rocking a cowboy hat and some cowboy boots. Girl, I live for that. I live for a nasty cowboy boot and a nasty cowboy hat. I really do. <laughs> but I'm not a big, gigantic fan of country music. There's some songs I like, but you wouldn't catch me. Like, I heard that this album isn't all the way country, because I'm like, how would that work going to a tour if she tours again? I'm like, I wouldn't want to sit down and watch a whole country tour. Like, I'll be bored boots, literally. Because these boots were meant for what? Walking out the concert. So, without any bias, we are going to listen to this album right now and see if Beyonce is slaying and serving the kids. And you know it's copyright, so I'm not going to play the whole song for y'all. I'm going to just listen through it and see if I catch a vibe. And you know, some songs I may not like at first. Later on, I might listen to it again and be like, you know what, it's not that bad. But I'm gonna get my first impressions, so here we go. Okay, so I haven't even seen, if you're wondering why my hands are down here, don't wonder about it or get blocked. Um, <laughs> just know that it, 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 it involves um, a hot dog, onion smells, and vinegar. Um, I haven't even looked at her album pictures. I saw the, I think the cover with the white hair and the hat looking sickening. You know, she's now a white woman. So, I'm gonna look at the ones that I love. I love this. I love this pose right here. 
she's saying look back at it make sure my weaves don't get caught in the fan this time oh. um oh I, I i was trying to find a website to see like where i could just look at her pictures non-stop but i'm just assuming these are from her album love it 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 this is cute and sexy it's not my fave but i do like it though i do appreciate it it's really sexy she's bringing sexy to the cowboys this is nice it's very etta james it's cute i like this i thought erica badu was coming at her again <laughs> Cause you know Erica called her out before about like wearing these big hats that she's been wearing these crazy hats and then now this beaded hairstyle and we know Erica is not the, fo the 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 founder of beaded hairstyle bitch even I wore a beaded hairstyle before I seen Beyonce do this you know I'm not saying that I inspired her but I'm just saying like as far as like time wise like I had one on before her so I so I could be like she copied me you know <laughs> but people like Rick James and stuff have done that you know the Egyptians and everything you know but it doesn't mean that. You know, she didn't see Erica recently and was like, huh, let me, you know, do that. You know, but <laughs> I find it funny. But anyway, let's see what this first song is. The first song is called American Requiem. Here we go. I like the harmony, but it's giving me depressing national anthem. Like, <laughs> Ow. Come on, Harmony. But I'm at this, this whole got 27 songs. Is she serious? Is she serious? I got things to do by Renee Thompson. I'm not mad at the beat, but it sounds evil. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm like, is somebody about to get hung? Oh, hung nine. I said, do you hear me? I hear you but I'm not feeling this so far, so I'm gonna skip through it a little bit and see what happens. You know, a beat change or something. I feel like maybe, I feel like other people will like this, like and that's really deep into that country. Um, for me, it's not a song for me. So I'm gonna give American Requiem a skip for me. Next one is called Blackbird. It has people on here. It says Beyonce, Tanner Adele, Britney Spencer, Tierra Kennedy, and Raina Roberts. Someone said they feel like they're walking in Walmart. I can't. This is pretty. Like, it's pretty. Like, it's all about the singing, but I don't know. I'm not like, ow! But I'm like, it's pretty. It's pretty so far. For this moment to be free. I like the harmonization going on with the girls in the background and everything. It's so far it's not bad, but it's not something that I think I would like come back to. But let me just listen to a little more. Okay. Blackbird. Ow. Well, I feel like some people are going to like force themselves to like the album because they were just loving the Beyonce do. I, I, I was watching a, a, a video earlier that you just recommended for some reason. They recommended Beyonce's new hair hair care product. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not taking hair care product for anybody who I see wearing wigs all the time. <laughs> it is one of those things where like celebrities, celebrities can do whatever they want to do, you know, like instead of like it being people that are really in that field having the opportunities to like do stuff like that, like Somebody who's really into hair should do should do that, you know, but just because when you're a celebrity, you can just like jump on all these different avenues, which nothing is wrong with that, but you can. But um, this person was doing, I guess one of his clients is Kelly Rowland. And so I guess Tina and them sent Kelly and him, um, or I think it was her, Beyonce's hair product. And he was like, I'm going to give, oh, she, <laughs> I'm going to give an unbiased opinion of the hair product. You know, you know, I keep it real. And I'm just like, how real are you really gonna keep it out if you're literally doing Kelly Rowland's hair, Beyonce's friend or cousin, whatever? Like, are you really gonna keep it real if it was bad, like in front of Kelly Rowland? <laughs> anyway, another story I'm ranting, but the next song is called, oh, but we all know this one. I don't have to, I hear a little bit, but we all know this one, it's Carriages. 16 carriages driving away one. Yeah, I do like this song, but I haven't made myself like, just like put it on to put it on, right? But I do like it, I think it's like, it's a good song, so I definitely 
this one is a I won't say it's a skip I'll say it's a it's a play it's a play we will we will we, we will play her oh a black bird uh, I feel like I have to hear it again the next one is protect her to the Reverend children singing August light becomes a golden e I like how she's singing this and holding the, the like the, these like certain letters and words. Giving tree, I gave water to the soil. Um, it's not. It's I can't say it's bad. No, it's not. It's just that it's kind of making me like sleepy. <laughs> Cause you know, it's it's this is more laid back. Like this is like when you just want to like go and sit on your back porch get a piece of hay, chew on it, and just like sit by the river. You know, like it's that kind of thing. That's pretty, you know what? I think I actually kind of like this. It's not bad. Like, I feel like this could be something on the radio. I think so for like a country station, like I think it could be. Uh -huh. Ow. Protector. I'm going to give her a play, but when I'm in a certain kind of mood to play it, I'm going to give her a play. Next one is, oh, she being freaky. My Rose. Uh, Ganga. Let me find out Jay-Z and gave Beyonce a rosebud. Uh, Janice Dickerson. How many times have you let yourself get you down? Okay, I'm already pulled in with the harmonies, but will I be pulled out? We'll see. Why do, why do I want to like just have some long bones right here, get a flower headband, and put on some flower outfit and just go side to side like, you got me, babe, do 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 do, you got me, do 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 do. Like I want to go down to the Renaissance Fair. Like this is what it's giving me. <laughs> ow, la 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 la. Ow, oh, Jambo. This is gorgeous. Okay, this one is going in my phone. This one I am gonna save, okay? Ow, Beyonce, girl. If I didn't just drink that grape juice and the back of my throat wasn't stank, I'll give you a kiss. Ooh. Now why when I finally like something, it's like an interlude, are you serious? That should have been a whole song. That should have been five minutes. Excuse her. Anyway, the next one is Smoke Hour. Not, not Willie Nelson. He's still alive. <laughs> Why does scare me though? I feel like I'm like in some scary movie. You know, they always have that old timey scary music. <laughs> I'm like, oh gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Oh, shucks. Oh. Somebody give me some boiled peanuts. I need some boiled peanuts. Girl, I need some a uh, 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 Pepsi, chewing tobacco, girl, and some Oshpagosh Levi jeans. Cause this beat is giving me that right now. Girl, like, excuse you. Oh, that was Texas Hold'em. Oh, oh, for some reason, I, I thought it was a new song. <laughs> Texas Hold'em, I'll give it a play. I'll give it a play, I'll give it a play. We, we already know that song, so no need to hear it right now. We already know it, we're gonna go past that. Next one is Bodyguard. Wait, why is this giving me Dirty Babe? You dun 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 shine. Take it to the flow. Go ahead, girl, get big tit popping. Go ahead, girl, go big tit popping. However, the lyrics go. This is giving me, I can hear this in some like movie. Like, it's giving me a movie song that would play during like. Some white cool kids or white like depressed teenager walking to school, all depressed like, ugh, I'm the lo I'm the loser here. Like, like I can hear this being played during the movie. <laughs> Ow, that was pretty. Ew. This is cute. It's cute. It's cute. Like I'm telling you, like I will listen to this when I feel like I'm a 70 year old white emo student who's trying to fit in like that's what that's when i will play this wow oh, that part is kind of funky funky oh, this is cute but in a cheesy way it's cheesy but i but i but i i like it like kind of like 
Go hide. Dan on, Dan on, Dan on, Dan on. John Wayne. John Wayne. Oh. John Wayne. Oh. Oh, that was nasty. Okay, so that was Protector. Wait, I think. Oh, Bodyguard, sorry. <laughs> Bodyguard. It, for me, is a... Another, I have to come back and hear it again. I have to hear it again. Because I'm like, it might end up being a play for me. The next one is Dolly P. Oh, oh, okay, Beyonce and Dolly Parton got it. Okay. Hey, Miss Honeybee, it's Dolly P. I'm out of your scare I thought, she, I thought she was talking to me. I'm like, wait, did I turn the, the TV on? <laughs> Jolie, Jolie. Oh, the Dolly thing was an uh, interlude. <laughs> And somebody said they feel like she's doing all these runs and harmonizing because it's just a bland genre overall. And that could be true. But the song on now is Jolene, okay. You, don't come for my man. Oh, she said Jolene, don't come for my man. The first bit was um Becky with the white hair. Not the white hair, the good hair. <laughs> now it's Jolene. Jay-Z, what you been doing now, Joe? What you been doing now, honey? Dang. Between a family and a happy man. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. You don't want no heat with me. Uh-uh. You don't want no heat with me because uh, I got that Illuminati power. Oh, allegedly, allegedly. Jolene, Jolene. I think my favorite part of the song is her saying Jolene. <laughs> Jolene, 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 Jolene. I think it's my favorite part. Not a Benji bitch from Louisiana. Ow. Oh. Jolene Eileen, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to put this, we'll listen to it again. For me, for me. Next one is Daughter. Your blood stains on my custom couture. Hey, what, your daughter left blood stains? What the heck is going on? They're too young for the period. Now, maybe, maybe not the question mark or the coma, but the period. They're too young. Wait, well, how old Blue have you now? Is she the one that left the blood stain? Or am I overthinking it? Child, let me hear some more. Oh, it's about Jay-Z's mistress. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Holy Trinity from this marijuana smoke smell in my I feel like with this song, I'm invested more so in the story than I am, like, the music. I'm kind of just like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, I'm not really, like, jamming or snapping my neck or fingers. I'm just kind of just like, so that's what happened. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ow, this is giving me some dramatic opera movie or something, this part. Girl, what's that girl's name? Girl, Safira is shaking. Okay, yes ma'am, Beyonce. Let me guess, next after the rock and roll, she gonna do an opera album. Oh Lord, Lord child. But honestly, if it wasn't for this part right here, I probably would have skipped past this song in the future. But I'm like, I may play this again just for this operanism going on right now. Like, okay. Um, I still don't know if, you know if I want to save it in my phone though. It is pretty, but I, but I feel like I could just like, I'll put it in my phone for now. I'll put it in there and I'll just see like if I want to hear it again. I'm hungry, see the The next song, oh. I just said I was hungry. And the next song called Spaghetti. That whole rip my mind. How would Beyonce spaghetti taste? <laughs> I'm curious now. Blue Ivy, I know you watch my channel. Let me know down below in the comment section. Ow. Boom. Ow. Is this country? <laughs> this beat is something serious. I feel like these are some songs that were meant to be on her other album and they didn't make it so they just were like let's do a country album but we'll secretly add in the songs that we were supposed to have on the first album <laughs> but I think I am liking this it goes hard bros what the heck going on <laughs> like am I watching Willy Wonka like, what's, what, what's happening I could skip it now, cause now it's giving me trap, and I'm tired of trap music. I'm sick of trap music. The beginning part though, I was like into. Like I'm gonna download it, but I'm gonna always skip that part, <laughs> cause the beat was really weird. I I live for a weird beat. Okay, so the next one is Alligator Tears. Okay, I'm 
liking the singing so far. It's very drunk and slousy. Like, I don't drink, but I just want to walk around like a drunk, like a drunk hobo right now. That's what it's giving me, to, like, it's calling me to do that. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. I'm just still trying to figure out what I want to do with it so far, but I'm not mad about alligator tears so far. I find that part that, that little beat right there because it's giving me very uh, it's like it could be like a little like music cut scene in between like a regular TV show like Dawson's Creek. Dawson, Mama's not coming over tonight. Then the beat comes in. And then the next scene comes on. That's what I'm getting. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna, huh, hmm, huh. I'll put it in my phone and it, it, when it happens to play during iTunes, randomly, I'll listen to it again and be like, okay, I think I like it. Maybe I don't. I have to hear it again. So the next one is Just For Fun with Willie Jones. So I'll say my goodbye. Okay, I can tell that this one, for me, is making me too tired. <laughs> Not even funny. Like, I think I'm gonna go to the next. We'll see. I did like the holiday. She broke down every syllable. I'm gonna go ahead and skip past it. Like, this is for me, this is a skip. I, I can just already tell for me it is. The next one is Most Wanted. Or second most wanted with Miley Cyrus. No jump in the gun, but we're both still young. Her voice sounded kind of stank just now. <laughs> but then it kind of does go with it, so I'm like, okay, okay. But I want a more fun song with Miley and Beyonce. But I, I'll be I don't think I like Miley's voice as I thought of it. Something about it's really nasally, or in this song, I don't know. And I feel like. Beyonce's kind of overpowering her, especially in this like chorus part together. But alone, I don't know. It's, it's a kind of nasal. Huh. Let me listen, let me hear some more. Let me hear some more. Me... Making waves in the wind with my empty. See, I'm on this. Like, I'm having this battle. I'm like, I kind of like how she's singing it, but then it just sounds so nasally and stank. But then I kind of like it as far as like the way she's singing her part. But then like, it's a battle here. It's, a, it's, it's it is it's a battle. But personally, I can say I don't care for this song. I like some of the little court verse with my a little bit, even though it's kind of it's nasally mean. But like, but yeah. And honestly, like, like I said before, this is not on Beyonce. I'm I'm already kind of tired. But some of these songs really are aren't helping the, the case. <laughs> I'm like, hopefully something will speed it up again. Okay, the next song is Levi's Jean with Post Malone. Oh, I'll let you be my Levi jeans. Girl, I think I have only one pair of Levi jeans because they're expensive. <laughs> and I've had, these, I've had these jeans forever. They're the scratch ones with, 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 the, with the little rips, you know, on the leg part. I love those jeans, but maybe I need to get some new ones because maybe they're a little too tight these days. <laughs> but I only own one pair of Levi jeans, so they are pricey. Oh, I do have a Levi's jacket, though, like a jean jacket, though. I do have that. I can see people liking this song. I can. Not sure if I'm kind of into it. That's it for me. I think that's the issue with, for me with this album so far. For me, is that I feel like I'm like kind of I'm trying to be fair and I'm trying to like give it a chance, right? You know, and get into it. But like I feel like I'm forcing, not forcing, but I'm like kind of making myself do it, like to kind of like really like. You know, you know, normally when you hear an album or something or a song, sometimes right away, you're like, oh, that's it. Like right away, like, you, like especially back, for me back in the 90s, Cheryl, you, you, you would hear a song and you just like right away love it. Um, with this, for me, for this album, and then maybe it's just, it's just a country thing, I am like trying to make myself like get into it without just not liking it just because. Did you say come be my nick at night? Girl, Beyonce, damn about to come for your feet. 
it's cute. It's a cute song. It's a song that I'm gonna have to come back to, but it's cute. Next one is Flamenco. Somebody said that this tour would be a skip for any non-obsessed Beyonce fan. True. <laughs> Is that true? Like, 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 y'all know good and well, y'all be bored just sitting there. <laughs> she would definitely have to bring out some of her older music and stuff because I'm like, yeah, like, this gives me more so not a huge tour, but little concerts here and there. Like, like, that's what it gives me. Because <laughs> he would. I'll live for that. I do like this part of the song. Like she has, yeah, like that's the thing. Like she's not missing with the harmonization and stuff like that in these songs. Like she's not missing at all. It's not missing. It's what makes some of the songs interesting. But um, it's a skip, except for that one part I like. For me, don't hate me, y'all. I'm really trying. Um, the next one is Yaya. Not that stank beat for the boots for men for walking. And let's let's Michelle with her with her thick leg just going up and down. Down and on 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 down down. Sorry. Inside thought to myself that came outside. Oh, hey, this song is definitely for this look right here. What a look, you know, that Edda James look I said. This is definitely for that look. Hey, I think I won't I think I'm gonna get into this. I'm like, okay, ow. Put them hands together. We clapping. Okay, I'm definitely gonna add this to my playlist. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, this is very Tina, Tina Turner and stuff for me. Yo, she is grunting over this whole song. Yeah. Potty mouth. But it's a cute song. It's cute. It is a cute song. I will play it. I will play it. I'll play it. Next one is Desert Eagle. Okay, this beat is kind of like okay. I'm kind of getting it. Wait, which lips? She talking about which ones? But is Desert Eagle missionary? I don't know. I'm confused. I'm like, I, I don't know. Do I like it? Am I just listening? Like, huh. Somebody said that it sounded like Solange would probably do that and maybe do it better. Oh. Um, <laughs> but I could see Solange doing that song. I don't know about who would do it better, but I could see that. Oh, run, run the next song. That song's called River Dance. Ow, bounce on the dance. Ow. Oh, okay. I'm getting. I think I'm going there on the river. I think. I think I'm. I think I'm going. Ew. See, it's like it's, it, it's like with these songs. There are parts that I really love, and then parts where I'm just like, Ugh. and if I love, I'm like, it's, it's like it gets me on. I'm in and out. I'm in and out. I'm in and out. I'm like, okay. <laughs> let me hear a little more. So as far as river dance, I'm gonna I have to hear it again. I have to hear it. I have to hear it again. Like I I'm gonna put it in my phone. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I think about it after some more time. The next one is if second hand, second heaven. Like, yeah. I see why they have the river dance and this and this one by each other because it kinda like coincides. So far, okay. It's cute. It's my baby. Uh, uh, oh, my, love my. Don't judge me, baby. <laughs> you okay, okay. For me, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's also, I don't know if it's a song that I want to save just yet, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's like, yeah, it's, it's a, it's, it's pretty nice. So I can see why people would like this. Um, the next one is Tyrant. Oh. Your hands are steady and you sleep at night. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, that was unexpe unexpected. <laughs> That's from Timbaland style, the whole beat switch. Wait, let me find a Dolly Parton about to do some on um, trap in this. <laughs> when I'm Dolly Parton, I'm gonna die. I'm Dolly Parton, I'm Mary Beth. Let me find out. Every time I ride it, every time I ride it. Not when you ride it, you're a tyrant. That's scary, girl. I'm like, where's Dolly at? Now this part is kind of sitting. This beat and it, yeah. it, it, that's it. That's my favorite part of the song. I guess Dolly Parton was just talking in the beginning, I guess. But yes, the next song is Sweet Honey Buckin'. Oh, shucks. It's featuring Shaboozy. Can I hear still squeezing in some um, gay house music? <laughs> I hear the background. <laughs> I hear you, queen. Ow, yes, this, <laughs> she said. I still got you gays. I'm squeezing it in there. Okay. Trust me. The white people will never know. I think I will add this song. Like, I, I can see me possibly doing some things. To with some things. Not Jiffy Cornbread and Booty Cornfed. Mmm. This one, my, this one, my. Ow. Yeah. We're about to see somehow people voguing and Jay setting to country. So, somehow. <laughs> I was going to say, they're mad that she didn't have little Nas on here. She said, honey, uh-uh. She said, shy, I mean, he's cute from afar. Ow, not doo-doo. Ow. I appreciate them trying to do different things and weird things with, like, the music. Like, I appreciate that. Yeah, this part goes off. Ow. <laughs> this beat is nasty. This beat is nasty. But I feel like these stuff probably should have been in the beginning or something. Cause like, I'm kind of drained and I feel like this would have got me like in the beginning. I love that rodeo, like Spanish kind of thing going on in the country and back. <laughs> that is sick thing. <laughs> and making it house, that's sick thing. Ow. Ow. Like a mechanical that was sick. That's probably my, other one that I like, I can't, I think it was My Rose, I think, which was just an interlude in that song. <laughs> Hold on, but the last one is Amen, let's see. Let's see thank God, Amen's almost over. Um, yeah, at this point, I, I, I think some certain things sound the same, but. Uh, uh. I always skip to talk, but I live for that Trumpets Blair part. Once again, the harmonization is good. Yeah, you know, it's it's really good. So, that was Beyonce's Country Carter album. 27 songs. I'm gonna keep it all the way funky like your grandpa's feet. On a scale of 1 to 10. This is just my personal opinion. Everybody is allowed to their opinions. So, you know. I will give this album, and, and once again, I'm gonna have to hear some songs again, but off top for me, I, and I hate saying this, but I feel like I would give it like a five or six. But I, once again, I think it's just because it's, you know, country. <laughs> and I don't know, and, and like a lot of it was kind of like, yeah, it was just more just like sit down and listen. I think we're used to Beyonce making us move. You know, and then every now and then she'll have some nice ballads in there. I just, uh, I, I think I would probably have to be a country, country fan to appreciate it, right? So, yeah, I, I mean, kudos to her doing something different, you know, because she is from Texas. She has country all in her twang and her voice, how she speaks, you know, but I just, yeah, I just, unfortunately for me, but like, yeah, but uh, honestly for me, there are some songs, that, like I said, some songs that I'm like, Okay, I need to hear it again. And then there's like probably two or three songs that I'm like, I can hear this all the time. You know, so yeah, but still, you know, congrats to Beyonce for doing what she's doing and, you know, bringing more attention to that and hopefully it goes good. So yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Um, 
and be honest yeah and anyway keep it cute keep it mute or you will get the boot oh wait i already said that yeah, i'm tired um <laughs> oh but until next time remember to stay beat to stay beautiful but most importantly stay blessed Kima Cho or Kimochi. Yeehaw! Ta-ta!